The Bauer XLS is an entry-level hockey skate that provides a great performance for such an inexpensive skate and T-Blade sells them in various versions and one of them even glows in the dark. <laughs> Let's roll the intro. The X series of Bauer contains the XLP and the XLS, which I'm reviewing today. And it's just a guess though, but in my researches I kind of found out that XLS stands for X series learn to skate and XLP X series learn to play hockey. And I forgot to put off my earphones again, so that I can have a coffee break as well. To be honest, specs wise the XLS looks like an absolute beginner skate and for hockey reasons I guess that's absolutely true. I mean look, Bauer sells the PV version of this skate even with a velcro strap. But for freestylers this has not to be a beginner's skate. Those inexpensive easy skates are made out of pretty pretty soft material which is absolutely not the best for advanced hockey playing or to protect you from slap shots. But for complicated freestyle motions, a softer skate can indeed be an advance. As always, this depends on you and your style. Specs wise, we have a regular Bauer toe cap, a standard 3D polycarp quarter package that goes around the skate. On the inside, we have a microfiber liner with comfort ankle padding and a standard insole. Also the tongue of the skate as well as the laces are pretty pretty basic but this makes the overall skate pretty pretty inexpensive. And T-Blade loves this skate because it's coming not in one but in three standard versions. This standard T-Blade version here comes with a green holder, black stabilizers and black runners and a black clips and I really love this combination of the green with the green inside of the skate. We also have the basic even cheaper version with white holders, black stabilizers, white runners and metallic green clip and the special edition with the glow in the dark holder, this one here, with green stabilizers, I guess the standard version comes with black stabilizers but I mounted some green stabilizers on them, I think this looks way better and a black clip, so the glow in the dark holder, I guess it's absolute overkill in the ice disco. By the way, let me know in the comments which version of this skate you think looks best. Ready to skate in the standard T-Blade version in green and the glow in the dark version. This skate comes to you for 200 bucks around and the basic version I guess for 10 bucks less. But till Sunday midnight, so till the end of the week, you can have this skate for 20% less with my discount code Alpine Ice Freestyle 20. So if you want to get this skate, Hurry up because you won't get it any cheaper anywhere. And to help you with your decision, I will now show you my test footage of this skate on the ice and what I have to say, this skate completely made me speechless. Let's go! Alright guys, let's put those skates on Bauer XLS entry level skate in the width are regular they're not available in ee so it might be a little bit uncomfortable here but as i said before the skate is not that hard very flexible very soft so it should not be that painful and they feel quite good didn't expect that from a very very inexpensive skate but yeah this is not that uncomfortable Probably because of this softness and discomfort, it won't have the strongest support. I'm pretty sure that it won't have the strongest support because it's made to be comfortable for everybody who steps on the ice for the first time with a hockey skate. So I need to be a little bit careful with the extreme motions. But for that, I have a pretty, pretty solid beginner's comfort. Definitely way more comfortable than I expected it to be. All right, guys, let's stop talking and start testing the Bauer XLS on the ice. Let's go. Oh, wow, 
now. So this is lightweight, less support than compared to the X 3.7. Very flexible, very motionable, but still I can keep the control on it. It doesn't feel that wobbly. Of course, beginner skate, not too hard, but for people who want to have a soft, flexible skate that just feels good, and this one just feels good. You can't bake it, but you don't have to bake it. It feels good with the first fit. Well, that's just awesome. By the way, guys, I checked my YouTube stats. The most of you guys watching my videos are not subscribed to my channel yet. So make sure that you become a subscriber right now if you like those videos and want to see more of them. Let's continue the test of the skate. Now let's test out if footwork works. Let's go. So as you can see, the footwork is not that precise, not that perfect is the wrong word, but not that good. I'm used to my skates, which are pretty, pretty hard, have a pretty strong support. This one is way more flexible, way more motionable. So at the moment, my footwork looks a little bit unsafe, but if I would get used to this skate, to this flex, to this motionability, then there are footwork motions possible just out of word. Great. So footwork, precision, works good, feels good. Now let's test the power skating abilities of this skate. We have some land brakes. I hate land brakes. Let's go. <laughs> Nothing negative to say. Power, precision, works, and the skate, as all my test skates in Bauer, absolutely lightweight. So power skating abilities approved. All right, guys, power works. Now let's combine power and precision with some precision brakes. Alright guys, freestyle trick breaks! Work! Now let's continue with some ground touches! Let's go! So even with my close to 100 kilo, I can trust this flexible, soft beginner's skate. It supports me even with those precise power tricks like ground touches. This is awesome. All right, guys, one hour of the Bauer XLS. It's been a pleasure. Oh my God. This performance for such a inexpensive skate I don't want to say cheap, but inexpensive, is phenomenal. So I thought at the beginning that this is a beginner skate and yes, I can do my tricks, but it's like nothing special. But for this money, the performance is incredible. I have flexibility for the tricks. I have motion ability without losing the support too much so that I can even do extreme tricks, extreme power skating, everything. Of course, I need to get used to this softness. But if you get used to that, there are things possible with high-end skate. You will never be able to do that. With a Vapor X 3.7, for example, you will never be as motionable, as flexible as with this skate. So footwork freestylers should really think about buying such an inexpensive skate because less support, more motionability. At the beginning, as I was writing the script, I thought I will recommend this skate for beginner freestylers who want to jump over from soft boots or from rental skates want to get their first own skate. Wow, wow, this skate is for everybody. This skate is great. This skate is for beginners, for intermediate skaters, also for pretty good footwork skaters. This skate will not disappoint you and you can't do anything wrong for this price. Back to the studio. All right, guys, nothing more to say after this great on ice performance. If you want to see more skate reviews, they are popping up in the end card right now. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss anything in the future. Feel free to check out my merch. Link is in the description below. Same with Instagram. And that's it for today, guys. See ya.